you have the skills and strategies to break 100 at golf? Do you have a plan to do it in the next 12 weeks? Are you tired of searching the net, YouTube or Instagram, reading magazines or the latest books and feeling overwhelmed? I took this pictures years ago while I was searching for my path and thought it would be appropriate to break out and describe how all these footprints are people's path to break 100. They are different, they are many, and there are many routes. It leads to a distinct ending, and I want you to join me on this journey. Here's my promise. I've been coaching golf since 1998, and the past few years I've been running a Break 100 program in person, and I've documented that process and put it into a 12-week online program. Don't worry, this isn't a watch 51 videos on your own and figure it out. You'll have direct access to me using the Brad Fluth Golf Achievement app and on-course challenges and weekly 45-minute purposeful practice sessions and much more. Here's my three stages that I'll lead you through. First, we'll establish some foundations, which includes a skills assessment, onboarding and equipping, and a coaching consultation. Next, we'll focus on developing the skills you need, which include purposeful practice, a scoring mindset, and on-course strategies. In the last phase, we'll shift to a performance phase, where you'll develop your natural movement patterns, myths and truths, and then celebrate your achievement. So who is Brad Pluth? I've been coaching since 1998 and recently awarded with top in state and in America by Golf Digest. I'm a golf lover, passionate teacher, and love to coach. I'm a husband, father of four, and highly motivated to get results for my golfers, families, and friends that I serve. In 2016-2017, I was named to the Golf Digest Best Young Teachers in America, and in 2019, Best in State here in Minnesota. I've been mentored by and worked with some of the best instructors in the world, including David Ledbetter, spent a couple days on Martin Hall's Lesson T at IBIS, hosted Brian, Manze uh, pardon me, Brian Manzella a couple of years here in Minneapolis, also hosted Mike Bender here in the Minnesota PGA, and have been down to Timaquan when he was there, and also at St. Mary's. Taking a lot of his uh, training resources and love his products that he creates. Also see down at uh, one of the coaching and teaching summits. I mean, in my early days with uh, Dr. Rose and Dave Phillips. Uh, been to a number of seminars and also take my education seriously because I want to bring the best information to my students and also sort through some of the stuff that hasn't been so good. Won several section awards, including the Player Development and Junior Golf Leader and several others. Also won the Future Champions Top 25 Elite Coaches I also received U.S. Kids Top 50 in 2009, 10, and 11, and received the Master Coach status in 2013. I grew up at a public facility here in Minneapolis, and we had who was supposed to be the best instructor in the state. So when I was 16, I saved my money and bought a five-lesson package because he only sold packages, which, looking back, was smart. I remember take, talking to my dad after taking the third lesson and saying, I totally get the concepts that he's trying to teach me, but my body just won't allow me to do what he's telling me. That led me on a journey around the world, learning from some of the best instructors in the world. I still played decent golf in high school, even won our conference championship twice, played college golf, and it wasn't until I met Mike Adams and EA Titchler who explained how my body works and how I generated power. You see, I had a fade all my life and with two simple tests that I'll show you inside the Golf Swing Blueprint portion of the program, Mike told me that my natural shot shape was a fade and I should just play it. Well, I did. I went out later that summer and shot 69 in our section championship 
with a lost ball in the middle of the fairway. Have you ever had that experience? When I graduated from college, my sister gave me a, the book from Dr. Seuss, Oh, the Places You Will Go. Little did I know how true that would be. Here's a list of some of the places that I've ventured to in my work history along the road of developing this program. Started out at Bunker Hills, even played a little bit at uh, North Oaks as a caddy and worked maintenance there, and then started even at Majestic Oaks. Those aren't even on here, but my professional career after college, this is, this is how, how I went. My grandfather introduced me to golf when I was five. I played my first tournament when I was a freshman in high school and got hooked. I made my first hole in one at Majestic Oaks, number 12, with the Ping I 2 3 iron after showing up one morning early for work, not having to work, and went out and played instead. I've made 18 hole in ones at the recording of this video and have a playing lesson this afternoon and will try to make another. Shot 64 as a junior in high school at Green Haven with Brad Auberg a buddy who was also the best man in my wedding. Low round of my career is 61 at Deer Run, 66 in competition. I've been to 46 states, 17 countries, four continents, and I've coached 88 college players in the past 11 years. I'm an avid reader and listener of podcasts and audiobooks. I'm really a kid playing and coaching the game with a big body. So I'm guessing is you're asking yourself, is this for you? If you have an emergency or need to get good quickly, if you have time to train and play, if you're passionate and want to learn how to play better, this program is for you. If you stick around until the end of this video, I'll give you our How Good Are You Skills Assessment, a golf achievement scorecard, and a purposeful practice card to benchmark your improvement and an invitation to schedule a 30-minute free consultation with me, Brad Pluth. There's a plethora of information out there between the magazines, the Golf Channel, YouTube, Instagram. I even contribute to it. But you need to realize that information alone will not help you achieve your goal. A clear process will. That is what I've spent the last few years documenting and creating processes to follow and have watched hundreds of golfers break 90, 80, and even par. Here's the biggest lie in golf is that you need a pretty swing to play well and have confidence on the course. If you've been watching recently, there's not too many more confident golfers than Matthew Wolf. And that golf swing is not necessarily what we call orthodox. And even if you break down Dustin Johnson's swing here on the left, there's a lot of interesting moving parts. And you know, one of the fan favorites, Ricky Fowler in the middle, there's some, uh, some <laughs> not things that you'd probably normally teach, but he can sure get it done when it matters. When I was going through my TPI training or Titles Performance Institute, Dave Phillips had one of the greatest lines in something that I think about every day is that there's no one perfect swing for everyone, but there is a perfect golf swing for you. And that is based on how you move. And everyone is different. And thank God for that. A method is a step-by-step -step process to achieve a desired outcome. In golf, I've noticed this looks like the golf instructor determines what works for him or her and teaches that to everyone. This is how I grip the club. This is how I stand. This is how I take it back. This is what I think about before, during, and after shot. And you should too. Does that sound familiar? The system is a variety of methods used to achieve a desired outcome. If you look at the Hall of Fame, it's filled with different swings, some pretty, some unique. I use a system and love stack and tilt, the golfing machine, TPI, one plane, two plane. I use them all, but I help people discover which one works best for them. I'll talk more about that later and in more in depth. 
and really extensively in the golf swing blueprinting process during the program. I'll lead you through an assessment, game, exercise, and drill so you can understand your natural movement patterns and not have to guess. You see, it's great to paint with colors when you're given, paint with the colors that you were given. And some of us are artists and some are scientists, and most are a blend of each. When hitting a fade, it's nice taking out half of the golf course. More on that in the course management section. Ever since, I've been on a quest to understand how the body works and what great players think about before, during, and after a shot. And I've been, I've been fortunate to work with personally or attend seminars from 189 top 100 instructors since 2000. I've studied a lot of great coaches from multiple sports like baseball, football, bowling, ultra marathon runners, and I've taken my experiences and boiled them into my signature solution. So I studied the golfing machine, bio swing dynamics, right balance, TPI, and loads of others, only to find that golfers can improve in three key areas, developing a scoring mindset, on-course strategy, and developing their own natural movement patterns with their golf swing and putting stroke. I've worked with physical therapists and doctors to come up with a series of assessments to determine a golfer's best grip. By the way, all grips are not the same. The best posture, also not the same. Backswing track, there you really have three options when only one is right for you. A downswing slot that also has three options, but only one that is right for you. A dominant core region and a power angle, which there's actually nine. So I've put this into the program and developed the natural movement patterns assessment where I can help you discover and build your own natural, powerful, and consistent golf swing. This process works for all ages. It helps golfers that are lost find their swings. The process also guides golfers to strike the ball farther and play with confidence. So what gets you upset on the golf course? Remember this iconic Rory McIlroy shot at Durrell? Everybody gets a little frustrated from time to time. So again, if you stay until the end, I'll provide you with a link to schedule a free, no obligation, 30-minute coaching consultation. So what does it take to break 100 at golf? Again, we've touched on the three skills and strategies that you need to break 100. You need a plan and get clear on your current skills and abilities. This is not for golfers who have not played three to five rounds, do not have clubs, or have a fixed mindset. This here is what I've been walking golfers through in just about every lesson package or training program I've done for the last three to five years. It starts with the foundation of getting clear about the goals and objectives, next picking the skills or purposeful practice scoring mindset and on-course strategies golfers need to develop. And lastly, we, we focus on the performance and the transference of skills and apply their natural movement patterns, which eliminates limiting beliefs and myths and replacing them with truths, which leads to celebrating their achievement. I move golfers from being confused and overwhelmed to confident, skilled, and equipped golfers. Since coaching golf since 1998, golfers have come to my lesson tee to develop confidence, strike the ball farther, straighter, and more consistently. My signature solution does all four of these. It is a process. While they are bite-sized by nature, in most of the videos being two to 15 minutes, I cut out all the fluff and built the program that focuses on developing the confidence, skills, and strategies that you need to develop confidence on the course. There are a few assessments to strike it farther, straighter, and more consistently that we can focus in on. If you are confused, overwhelmed, frustrated, and looking for a clear and holistic path to improve your golf game, and if you can dedicate 45 minutes to a practice session each week, 
play nine or 18 holes for 12 weeks? I have a solution for you. I wanna guide you out of frustration and even embarrassment to become a confident golfer who knows how to play, train, and be equipped with the skills and strategies to break 100 at golf. No, you're not going to eat, sleep, and drink golf seven days a week and bulk up like Bryson DuChambeau, but you will need to invest some time into this program. This is the golf achievement improvement process. We play, assess, benchmark, train, and repeat. We start close to the hole and build size and speed. We get clear on your strengths and weaknesses because I've come to the belief that golfers do not argue with their own data. They just don't know what to look for until now. There are four skills that we need to assess on the golf course, and that's your tee shots, approach shots, wet shots, and putts. We will develop your scoring mindset and what to think about before, during, and after a shot. We'll develop customized purposeful practice programs that should take you about 45 minutes each week. We will teach you the strategies off the tee in your approach shots on and around the green to help you build confidence on the course. Roy retired five years ago and has dropped 10 strokes a year for the past five years in a row. Yes, that's right, 50 strokes in five years. Now, while he's the only one that I've coached that has dropped 50 strokes, I have several that have dropped 10 or more, a lot that have dropped 20 and 30, but Roy is a living testament that this program does and will work. As a matter of fact, when I played with him last week, I got to watch him make his first eagle. He had an amazing drive and an amazing five wood that took a great bounce to four feet from the hole. And yes, I made him put it in. I really love watching people work hard and get the payoff. And I want you to be the next. So if you're on the fence, I invite you to schedule a 30 minute call with me directly. You can either pick up the phone and call me now, or if I'm not coaching, I'll take your call. If you wanna schedule a time online, visit www.golfachievement forward slash appointmentcore.com. Let me take a break, get some water and see if you guys have any questions. Type them into the chat box. Great, I see a few coming in here. So first question, how long are the training sessions? So each week I've customized some different programs and I will customize them specifically for you as well as a small group of people. And they are 45 minutes, or they're designed to be about 45 minutes, maybe five minutes at home before you go to the golf course and about 30 to 40 minutes on the course. Next question is what do those look like? We do some speed training, we do some skills work, uh, usually starting from the hole and going backwards, along with some benchmarking. I'll actually throw some of those slides in and what that looks like here in the, in the future. Next question, I get lost on the golf course and easily lose my focus. What should I do? That's a great question. Thanks for being honest there because I think we've all been in that situation. So in my scoring mindset class, we take a deep dive into what to think about before, during, and after a shot. You know, let me hear me say this a lot, but people don't break from system, or the systems don't break, but people break from the system. So if you understand your personal system, your routine, I think a lot of that will alleviate your issues. Another question, I don't know how to practice. What should I do first? Again, each of the sessions are broken down into, or uh, broken in order from top to bottom, simple, simple form that I'll show you here in just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna move on here and we'll take some more questions as we go along. So how is this program going to work? First of all, the best news is that you get the first three holes of the nine holes free. After the first three holes, you can schedule a consultation 
where we will review your customized improvement plan, complete your assessments and purposeful practice sessions, and explain how the weekly on-course challenges work. During this call, we'll talk about the foundations of the program and shift from being confused and overwhelmed beginner to a fully equipped and confident golfer on the course. In the second phase, we'll develop the skills you need to play and break 100 at golf. First piece would be your purposeful practice and getting exercise or move from getting exercise to achieving your goals. Which I like to say achieve and leave. I often see players just simply get exercise when they're practicing and we want to move away from that. Second, in your scoring mindset, I want you to move from inconsistent to a proven process. I've helped hundreds if not thousands of golfers through this process and I know it works. Third, we'll help develop your on-course strategy and move from a hit and hope to a strategic golfer. In the performance phase of the signature solution, we wanna help you move from no knowledge to a consistent swing. We do this through a series of assessments and exercises to help you develop the motion and skills in a logical sequence. Next, we'll identify your myths and replace them with truths and help you move from feeling overwhelmed to a clear identity. Lastly, we want to help you celebrate the achievement. We want to identify who you want to play with and where you want to play. It may even give you a few ideas on where you can do that and who you can do it with. By now, you're probably asking, how do I get these results and play with confidence on the course? I've been co coaching golf professionally since 1998 and one of the principles of my programs is measuring improvement. I've created easy to follow scorecards and practice sessions that provide you with video descriptions on how to use them. And you can even ask questions inside the app. Once you know where you are and you're taking your strokes, it becomes obvious where you need to improve. Have you ever been this frustrated on the golf course? Who in this picture can you relate to? The guy on the left going, stop, it's not that important. Or the guy on the right, ready to pummel his golf bag. It's my belief that golfers do not argue with their own data. They just don't know what to look for until now. My college degree was in economics and I was trained how to take apart complex systems and rebuild things more efficiently. The golf swing may be the most complicated in sports starting the club and accelerating it to 90, 100, even 125 miles an hour in one second is no small task. I've been doing just that since 1998, and I've built the knowledge and teach the skills and strategies to help golfers improve and develop plans to break 100, 90, 80, and even par. I've tested what really works and what doesn't. Let me help you move from a frustrated and confused golfer to, to confidence on the course. Through this, I've developed the aged process of assessments, games, exercises, and drills to teach each skill. And if I don't know your answer, I have a network of friends and scientists that will find the answer for you. So how will you get results? I've designed 12 purposeful practice sessions, and if you choose the coaching option, I'll customize your training with what I call the age process, with the assessments, games, exercises, and drills. Let me explain the four types of training. Assessments are benchmarkable activities where you're keeping score. You have to get used to posting your score behind your name. Games are target-oriented activities and often overlook part of training, but it relates more to play and the transferring of your skills to play. Exercises are activities that you can do without a club or a ball to improve your game. Drills help you develop the internal feels. Every golfer needs a different 
mix of assessments, games, drills, and exercises. And I want to help you find the right mix. This is how we're going to develop your scoring mindset, coach you through the three phases of hitting a shot and how to accept your results, learn from them, reinforce, file, or forget. We'll take a deep dive into developing your scoring mindset and help you understand what great golfers think about before, during, and after a shot. Another piece of the golf improvement puzzle is developing your on-course strategy. We'll coach you to discover how to play your best tee shot, approach shots, wedge shots, and putting strategies. Simply how to get you focused on the right point or target. If you've heard enough and would like to contact me and develop a strategy to break 100 in 12 weeks or less, you can do so by going to golfachievement.com forward slash 30, number 30, dash minute strategy call. I normally do these in between lessons from 8 to 3, Monday through Friday. There's more information on the page to book, so you can find out more information there for your free 30-minute call. The solution I created is called the Brad Pluth Golf Achievement Break 100 Program. I coach golfers to achieve their goals and break 100 in 12 weeks or less without the, all the frustration, searching, and overwhelm. Here's what you need to do before we meet for our call. I need you to complete the scorecard, either by memory or go out and play using the scorecard, and simply identify how many shots you hit off the tee, approach shots into the green outside of 100 yards or outside of your pitching wedge distance, wedge shots, and number of putts. From there, we'll be able to customize an improvement program. Also recommend taking this simple 20 minute golf skills challenge. And even if you don't call, this will be a great way to test your skills. In our strategy call, we can identify where you are and build a plan to guide you to your golfing goals. You can either work directly with me here in Minneapolis or virtually at the convenience of your home or your club. If you're looking for a clear and proven path to break 100 at golf and gain confidence on the course, I want to be your coach. Charlie dropped 31 strokes in one summer using the training system and made his high school team and is now on the varsity team of a local golf powerhouse. Here's an overview of what week one will look like. You can even do it with a junior for free. I'll set them up with a, a free account. So first thing you'll be able to do, you'll be sent a login. We'll have our clubhouse conference. It needs you to complete hole one and two. Accept the Coach Now invite. Watch the videos, complete hole two and three, and then pick a teammate. I find that it's best to do it with somebody and you can do it on your own and rely on the community as well. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Simply click the hole that you're on to start and a video and assignments will drop down for you to complete. There will be more added, but currently there are over 72 to 5 minute videos in the program. Don't forget, if what you're looking for is not covered, I'll purchase personally answer your questions or find the right person to get you the answer in order for you to achieve your golfing goals. There's two ways to complete this program. You can either train on your own or complete a 12 week all access program with me as your coach. We'll talk about these options in a little bit. So my normally hourly rate is $120 per hour. So here's what you're gonna get when you invest in the program. There's over 70 videos and over six hours of coaching. You'll have direct access to me for 12 weeks or approximately 20 hours of coaching. 
during that time, you can send in videos on any part of your game, whether it's putting, chipping, pitching, full swing, approach shots, specialty shots. I've even had clients take me out on the golf course to do a playing lesson with them, so possibilities are endless. I've designed 12 purposeful practice sessions that are about 45 minutes each and build on each other from week to week. This is really the crux of the program because without the training, it's hard to develop the confidence to take it to the course. I normally do playing lessons for 120 per person for nine holes. And in this, I cherry pick my 12 favorite challenges and I have put them in a sequence and even will customize your sequence for you during our strategy call. If you're not willing to keep track of stats, this program is really not for you. So it's okay if that's your prerogative, but if you really want to get better, I truly believe that what gets measured gets improved and you need to be able to do it not only when you practice, but when you're out on the course. So the on-course challenges are really there to help you understand and what to focus on and even have some more fun by focusing on what really matters. With the program, you'll get the Brad Pluth Golf Achievement app where we can record our communication and this will act as your virtual locker. Each week, you'll be sent a purposeful practice session, an on-course challenge, and you can send me a video of the shot of the week or anything else that you're working on. I can reply back with a video or text, and you'll have access to the notes for the lifetime of the program. You can even take snapshots of your scorecards and achievements all in one place. Here's one of the commun communication tools that we'll use. I partnered with Coach Now and developed an app that I have used for the past six years to communicate with my players, do lesson reviews, and even do remote coaching videos. You'll be set up with an account upon our coaching call to do virtual, and it will act as your virtual locker. We'll have a leaderboard some weeks to see where you are compared to other golfers of similar ability le levels. And you'll get access to my library of scorecards and purposeful practice sessions. Arcos is a state-of-the-art training tool that helps you develop on-course strategy and will help you guide what club to hit and how far you really hit your clubs. The app will tell you how far you hit each of your clubs, the frequency of use, where you miss, and much more. It will guide you through your smart distances and how far you actually strike the ball. Imagine, no more guessing. It will illustrate trends in your game it will work on almost any course in the world, and you'll be able to get whole overviews and strategies inside the app. Normally, you'll need to play three rounds before it'll start caddying for you, but this will even act as a caddy and help you select the right club in the right conditions. The new Arcos app has a weather feature to give you wind and an elevation feature and help you select the right club based on the elements. So have you ever heard on TV the caddy giving two numbers, one to the front of the green, the other yardage to the hole? He wants you to know how far you need to carry the ball, not just how far to hit it. So once you know this information, which is also available in Arcos, you'll be able to make more confident swings knowing that you have the right club in your hand. I've been an Arcos user for four years now, and I wish I could say I dropped my handicap by four strokes a year, but that's probably not possible. Um, but I have seen over and over again, and I'm really proud to, to use this slide, that the average Arcos user that is not breaking even 90 is dropping four and a half strokes or almost four and a half strokes in the course of one year. So this tool has been proven and measured, and I really look forward to sharing it with you. So here's a snapshot of my smart distances and ranges 
and normally Arcos is 249 and it's going to be included in your program. I'm also going to include this bonus. There's usually just one 30 minute coaching call, but if you enroll now, you'll get three additional 30 minute lessons with me personally to work on any part of your game or skill. I've had golfers do virtual range lessons, playing lessons, just simply chat, or they'll bring me into the bunker, putting green, or their simulator in their house or garage. Again, the options are endless. I'm dedicated to your success, and I know together we can help you achieve your goal of breaking 100 at golf. If you added up everything, what would that be worth to you to have purposeful practice sessions and knowing what to do and what you need to achieve during your each or during each visit to the range or practice facility? What would it feel like to know that you're going to the golf course to have just a little bit more fun and staying focused? What would it be like knowing that you have a world-class coach in your back pocket? You'll also have lifetime access to the Break 100 website and trainings. And Arcos will be your little sly guide to helping you shooting lower scores. So the total value is $6,919. And of course, I'm not gonna charge you that. I'm looking for a small group of 20 people or less. And this is going to go out to my 10,000 golfers that are on my database. So I need you to act quickly and reserve your spot into the program. Schedule your first 30 minute coaching call and apply now. If you've stuck around and watched this whole presentation, I know you're serious about your game and I wanna be your coach. Schedule your, schedule your call at golfachievement.com forward slash 30 minute strategy call. Why online coaching? I'll be honest with you, I love coaching and I'm not as busy in the fall and winter and I wanna help golfers and keep coaching. Let's jump on a call and see if you're a good fit and I'll answer all your questions you have and we'll determine if my program would be a good fit. Online coach, coaching has been done at a high level from some of the, these guys, and I think I offer a clear path for golfers who want to break 100. You can continue to search YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and scroll through and search the net and get overwhelmed on Golf Pass, or you can pick my proven solution. Here's my guarantee. If you do not break 100 in the next 12 weeks or less and complete all the assignments and purposeful practice sessions, watch all the videos. I'll continue to coach you until you achieve your goal. Let me ask you something. How do you think it'll feel to actually break 100 at golf? Who do you think you'll play with? Where will you play? You want to join me at Bandon Dunes for a two-day golf immersion? These are all options, but I just want you to dream a little bit. Hey, I've got some notifications. I just want to thank you for investing in your game. Ron from California is in. Roger from Minnetonka is in. He wants to break 100. Wow, I'm really looking forward to serving you guys. This program is even for ladies and juniors, too. Hey, Judy just signed up and wants to beat her husband. That's great. Chris from Texas registered and wants to play with his dad this spring. That's awesome, Chris. Let's do this. All right, here is what the inside of the program looks like. When you log in, you'll have access to all the resources. I recommend that you complete them in order, but if you need to work ahead or are extremely inter interested in one portion, it is possible. There'll be four core shots that you'll need to develop, and those will be released each week. These will be continue to be updated, and you'll have a lifetime access to these as a library of games, drills, exercises, and, ex and ex assessments expand throughout the program. 
Here's a sample of the golf swing blueprint. In this hole, you'll identify your natural movement patterns. They follow my methodology of assess, align, design, and improve. There will be an assessment looking at one of your movement patterns, in this case, stance width. A game or a target-oriented activity, an exercise to help you understand the feel of emotion, and if needed, a drill or an internal feel to help you de develop the skill you need. More on this in a little bit. I'll circle back to that. If you haven't signed up yet, let me ask you a few questions. What would it cost you to hire a coach for 20 hours? What would you invest to learn the game and benchmark your improvement and see progress week in and week out? What would you pay to have access to a coach that has been there, done that, and will answer questions for you and personalize each video in order to help you and is dedicated to helping you achieve your goals? And if he doesn't know, he'll find the answer within his network. What ages is this for? I see some questions rolling in here in the chat bars. This is primarily for adults, and you're more than welcome to invite a junior into the program to watch with you or to complete it with. I'll even set them up with their own accounts. Um, one of the questions, who have you coached? I've coached over 15,000 lessons in the last decade, a uh, variety of um, kids from ages four all the way to 92, uh, coach high school, college, consult with a couple of local colleges here in Minnesota, uh, serve as a recruiting agent for a few colleges down south, um, worked at Shattuck St. Mary's and helped develop golfers uh, or their, their tournament team and have placed, I think, uh, 88 golfers in the last eight years into colleges. So it's been it's been a fun run. So anybody with a goal is usually who I say I've, I've worked with or enjoy working with. Another question, uh, do you coach in person or virtual? This program is a, a virtual event. If you wanna work with me in person, we can also arrange for that as well. Um, I do coach at Deer Run in Victoria, Minnesota in the summer season and Twin Cities Orthopedic in Eden Prairie in the off season or when we're not able to get outside. So this is the playbook, playbook page and you'll get your customized report. Um, here's some of the things that are nice to have and need to have. You take a, a peek, so it might cost you about 25 bucks if you don't have, and I'm guessing most of you probably have some of these things laying around your house. So this, these are the nine steps in developing your natural movement patterns. So we start with stance width, how wide your feet should be, identify your power angle, uh, your ideal grip. Again, not everybody's the same. Your ideal posture, very simple way of identifying posture your backswing track or how that club moves in your backswing, your downswing slot, impact, follow through, and finish. Those are, to me, the, the nine phases of your golf swing. We take a deep dive into each one of those with games, drills, and exercises to help you identify your natural movement patterns. So for instance, number one, stance width, or kind of in the first section, look at stance width, foot flare, and so if you would, stand up for me for a second. I know we need to get a little break, but I'd like you to stand up with your normal stance width and just stand up tall and notice if you are if you can find a mirror, are your arms hanging in the same direction? If you do have a, another minute, grab a couple credit cards or a couple business cards out of your pocket and put them in your thumbs. Stand up tall again. And now adjust your stance width so your arms just hang naturally and in the same direction. So you can see on the bottom left of that picture, the green thumbs up, 
his thumbs are hanging in the same direction, and that's what we're looking for. You don't want to see fighting sheepdog, as I, as I like to call them, where your hands are hanging in different stance widths. One of the things that I found throughout this process is there's three different types of core regions, your low core, or some are twisters, mid core, some are launchers, if you will, and low core are spinners. So each of those stance widths or each of those dominant core regions require a different stance width. So know your shoulders, your feet shouldn't always be shoulder width apart. And frankly, it's hard to see your shoulders when you're looking down at the golf ball, but you can see your hips. So I hope this helps. And really, I believe that this should be your stance width, not only for your full swing, but your putting, maybe even your chipping. It will run those experiments and help you find out on your own, your height versus width. So a simple way to identify your stance width is either one, jump as high as you can, and when you land, notice that your feet will be a certain distance apart and probably flared in the right direction that they need to be. Again, don't just hop here, but really try to jump as high as you can and launch yourself. If you don't like to leave the ground, which I am in that category, I've had three knee surgeries in about two years, but um, stand in a mirror and have your wrists hang in the same direction and you all identify your stance with. So this is Dr. David Wright who, uh, who taught me this little trick. Uh, you can see the photo on the, the left on the top there in one stance with his hands don't hang the same and in the other one they do. So identify your ideal stance width and another way of doing it, uh, Dr. Bull is putting a, either a business card or a credit card in the, in the thumbs in your hands until they find, until they hang in the same direction. So three different options. Again, there's only one that's right for you and not everybody's the same. So I always love when I hear, oh, my stance width should be shoulder width apart. Well, can you see your shoulders when you look down and you're playing golf? I can't, so I don't like that reference. I usually use a uh, feet and hips reference, but again, this is an easy way to find it. I uh, just want to touch on one thing here real quick that some of these things may change, especially if you lose 25 pounds or gain 25 pounds. Some of these items will change throughout your career, so it's not a lifetime, but it is in the moment now. So here's some of the drills and experiments that we'd like you to run. Some quick, simple things, write them down and track them. Here's another one related to foot flare. So is your trail foot supposed to be square or flared open? Your lead foot square or open? Um, so just follow the, the description, write those in a downloadable book and head out to the range and, and practice. So here are some of the options that you have. And again, circle the one that's right for you. So dominant core region and power angle. So here's a simple way of identifying your power angle. And it helps if you have a digital protractor or just a protractor in general. Uh, you can identify if your power angle, we'll dive more into that in the video. But if your power angle is above 158, you are an upper core golfer between 153 and 159, mid core, low core. And we'll explain those are kind of the three buckets or three types of golf swings, and they're all unique. Again, there's not one that's right, but there is one that is best for you. So just to Go a little deeper into that, you can see Paula Kramer here is definitely a low core golfer. Ernie Els is more of a mid core, and Phil Mickelson is an upper core golfer. Okay. So here's one of the experiments that you can run and just identify which one that you like the best or even you can tell by shot quality as well so you can tell these are color coded and uh, just to help you maybe pick a path
pattern, but again, I'm not a believer in trying to be like somebody else, but you can tell some of these differences by looking at some of the best players in the world. So some of the upper core golfers are Phil Mickelson, Patrick Reed, Martin Keimer, Colin Montgomery, all classic examples of upper core. Low core golfers would be Jordan Spieth, Dustin Johnson, Jason Duffner, Ricky Fowler, and probably all guys that we would trade bank accounts with. Jim came to me with some fun goals and then got injured in a hunting accident. He fought his way back to health and we began to work hard on his game over a winter and then into the summer. He sent me this message showing that he shot his age twice, no, now three times because I just received this message this summer. This may seem like a long way off, but your goals are achievable. Next, moving on and developing your scoring mindset. So here's a sneak peek inside of that section. Um, so on your way to the golf course, so we can take a dive right into like, what do you do before around the golf, right? So it's not just before, during and after shot. It's also, you know, what do you do on your way to the golf course? What gets you in the mood? What kind of music do you like to play? That has a, a good beat that relates to your golf swing and uh, what kind of visualization techniques and the like. So we recommend if you want to perform like a champion, you need to act like a champion and they don't get their slam their trunk, pay their green fees and head to the first tee. So you need to give yourself you know, 15 to 30 minutes to warm up properly. And we walk you right through that whole process. So again, the action phase are starting behind the ball, you know, two to four steps behind the ball. It takes roughly about 15 seconds. Um, and, and this is, what do you think about during a shot? And if I asked most of you, you'd come up with all kinds of answers, the target, my backswing, my grip, my grip pressure. But in talking to great players, great coaches, uh, Lanny Basham comes to mind that the best players think about nothing. They react. They're already uh, prepared their work. They, they already know what to do. They just trust their training. So we'll talk more about the, uh, the action phase inside the program. To me, the biggest difference is in the reinforcement phase in every shot after every shot you kind of need to identify was it good was it great or does it need work if it needs work what solution do you need so those are kind of the questions that we'll uh, discuss inside the program so our course management section will uh, again that's me caddying for my son at the uh, world championships when he was eight at pinehurst uh, he snuck that photo in, but it's going to become useful, a little bag. But, uh, we sure did have a ton of fun. We'll spend a little time here, but not too much. Uh, this chart is handy and fairly well-rounded in how to move up from level to level and set realistic expectations. And you can even see how good these guys are on the PGA Tour. So if you look at some of these columns, that, uh, so obviously the second column or second row is scoring and what that looks like if you want to break 90, 80, or even get down to a scratch handicap. Uh, next is greens and regulation from the fairway and then greens in regulation or near the green. And that would be within, I believe, uh, 20 yards of the hole. Not necessarily from the green, but from the hole would be a, a near green in regulation. Um, driver length is highly correlated, so if you can't hit it far enough, it's hard to play good golf. So we do include a speed element in our training. And then fairways hit doesn't really look like there's much. And actually, higher handicappers are hit more fairways than low handicappers. Um, up and down percentage may surprise you that you know is a two handicap you're only getting it up and down barely more than one out of three times um, so we'll take a little deeper dive into this as we uh, get into the program so recognizing your inconsistencies 
So if you look at how you aim and everybody thinks they have a, a sniper shooter or that they're a sniper shooter when they really have shotgun patterns. And if you can learn how to aim to a target that'll help you hit the green a few more times. Again, I personally hit a little fade. I typically aim at the left center of the green or three to five faces left of the flag if I'm trying to hit one close. I really actually aim at the pin. So you need to be able to adjust your aim and then play to your pattern. So we may end up shifting some of these a little bit more left as we move along. And just things like this, whether it's in the fairway, how to pick a target out, out of the fairway, your approach shots, where you're landing your wedges on the green, and even some of the putting or keys to putting are all things that we include in our on-course strategy segment. So a lot of people think about the rules of golf, but not necessarily, or they don't know the scoring rules of golf. And in this program, we have an 11 scoring rules that we will teach you to identify uh, both on a scorecard. So not all 11 at once, but we kind of sprinkle them in throughout the nine weeks and have you focus on one of these scoring elements and sometimes two because they're, they're similar. So I can give you one, this is probably the best piece of advice. You can probably, well, probably don't want to skip the whole um, on-course strategy session, but the rule is to shoot the lowest score, you must have safely reduced as much distance between you and the hole as possible on every stroke. So I just want to hammer that in. And, uh, but you'll hear me say that a lot, especially if you've taken a playing lesson from me is try to eliminate or safely eliminate as much distance between you and the hole as possible. This may sound obvious, but you need to play away from trouble. So if you hit a fade, you want to aim down the left side or tee up on the right side of the tee box, aim down the left side and play away from trouble. One of the things that I find that a lot of golfers have difficulty is reading the lie and what's capable out of the lie. So we take a couple different examples and look at good lies, rough lies, and uh, knowing what is, again, capable out of each different lie. Another key element to scoring is focusing on the entry point or the line. So some golfers are linear and they see lines, that may be you, and some golfers see curves and they need to see the entry point and just kind of feel their way into the hole. But where you focus on and making your last look, both when you're putting and chipping or Basically, any time that you can see the hole is you want to look at the entry point, not necessarily your landing point. We'll dive more into that later. So we use a 10% rule uh, for if you're trying to break 100, if you can eliminate 90% of the distance. So if you got a 30-foot putt, if you can get it within three feet, you're doing great. Uh, if you've got a 100-yard shot, get it within 10 yards. It's really a high-quality shot. So simple things that we can use not only on the putting green, but also as a, a general reminder. You want to play for a living, it's really, I think they leave themselves about 6% instead of 10%. So I just thought I'd share that as well. Inside the program, we teach three or four keys to course strategy for your putting, wedging, approach shots, key shots, and scoring mindset. Not only do I explain each of these and give you real life examples of each on the course, there are scorecards to keep you focused for both your practice and on course challenges that relate back to these key topics each week. So if you're on the fence, uh, how much time do you think this is gonna take? People really drop 10 strokes in your program So I'll take these one at a time. So how much time is this going to take? Again, I'm going to have you watch a five to 15 minute video each week. There'll be a 45 minute purposeful practice session and a nine or 18 hole on course challenge. Um, do people really drop 10 strokes? These are some of the questions that have come in on the feed there. Um, Yes, I, we do it all the time, all summer long. We've probably had 70 people that went through the program this summer that have dropped 10 strokes or more. 
Uh, Ron recently dropped 26 strokes in one summer. As you saw earlier, Charlie dropped 31 strokes from you know 105 to 74. This is pretty impressive. He worked real hard this summer. Um, are there payment plans? Yes. Uh, I hate the payment plans that are, you know, it's $500 uh, or you know, <laughs> what's the example of like it's $500 or it's $1,500 or it's three payments of five sixty nine or whatever it is. I just, it's 1500 bucks whether you want to pay up front or once a month for three months. That's my payment plan. Is there a money back guarantee? My guarantee again is that I'll coach you until you break a hundred, however long it takes. Um, but there will not be any money returned to you. Um, you need to have skin in the game. And frankly, it's expensive to develop the software presentations like this. Um, I've invested close to 1500 hours developing this program in the technology and technical aspects of this. Uh, over the last year and a half, so it's the uh, it's been quite the journey. But I'm glad I'm finally being able to launch this and share this with golfers, and I want you to be a part of it. So, if you're on the fence, uh, how much time do you think this is going to take? People really drop ten strokes in your program. So I'll take these one at a time. So how much time is this going to take? Again, I'm going to have you watch a 5 to 15 minute video each week. There will be a 45 minute purposeful practice session and a 9 or 18 hole on course challenge. Um, do people really drop 10 strokes? These are some of the questions that have come in on the feed there. Um, Yes, I, we do it all the time, all summer long. Probably had 70 people that went through the program this summer that have dropped 10 strokes or more. Uh, Ron recently dropped 26 strokes in one summer. As you saw earlier, Charlie dropped 31 strokes from you know 105 to 74. This is pretty impressive. He worked real hard this summer. Um, are there payment plans? Yes, uh, I hate the payment plans that are, you know, it's five hundred dollars, uh, or you know, <laughs> what's the example of, like it's five hundred dollars, or it's fifteen hundred dollars, or it's three payments of five sixty nine, or whatever it is. I just it's fifteen hundred bucks whether you want to pay up front or once a month for three months. That's my payment plan. Is there a money back guarantee? My guarantee again is that I'll coach you until you break a hundred, however long it takes. Um, but there will not be any money returned to you. Um, you need to have skin in the game, and frankly, it's expensive to develop the software presentations like this. Um, I've invested close to 1,500 hours developing this program in the technology and technical aspects of this. Uh, over the last year and a half, so it's the uh, it's been quite the journey. But I'm glad I'm finally being able to launch this and share this with golfers, and I want you to be a part of it. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Bill Mickelson is jealous of my calves. No, I'm just kidding. This is a picture of my son and I, and I have one last story for you. We were paired up with a college coach, and he asked my son Brody when he was nine, how do you know if you're a good golfer? My son responded, well, if you shoot the lowest score. The old wise coach responded, nope, you get invited back. You see, that's what the game is all about. Golfers won't remember necessarily what you shoot, but they will care how you act and how you treat them. So remember, golf is a game, and games should be fun. All right, why choose my program when there are so many others out there? You can only operate from one operating system. One of the traps I see golfers fall into is continually searching for a new way of doing something rather than trusting a proven process and owning their own motion. Getting 3,000 videos will lead you to confusion and overwhelm. Some of you may, have, may still be there. 
Golf Pass and Revolution Golf has a lot of great content, but who are you going to listen to? Can you contact them directly and send them a question? Probably not. Or you could for $250 an hour. So here's another thing that makes my program different is that you'll have scorecards like this each week to guide you to understand where you're taking your strokes and a plan or purposeful practice is what we like to call it to help you shoot lower scores. The first step is to know where you're taking your strokes. And I invite you to download these scorecards now and I'll give you a link in just a minute. My benchmarking process and measuring improvement is another difference my program has that I haven't seen anywhere else. Through the assessments, we'll be able to focus in on your strengths and areas of improvement and guide your practice and develop the skills and strategies you need and see improvement week over week, month after month. You can get these resources and more at golfachievement.com forward slash break 100 resources. Here you'll be able to download a few sample scorecards, purposeful practice form, and more. I normally do playing lessons for 120 per person for nine holes. And in this, I cherry picked my 12 favorite challenges and I have put them in a sequence and even will customize your sequence for you during our strategy call. If you're not willing to keep track of stats, this program is really not for you. So it's okay if that's your prerogative, but if you really want to get better, I truly believe that what gets measured gets improved and you need to be able to do it not only when you practice, but when you're out on the course. So the on-course challenges are really there to help you understand and what to focus on and even have some more fun by focusing on what really matters. Again, you're going to get one of my favorite pieces of golf technology in Arcos Golf Training Systems, where you'll see how far you actually hit your club. After three rounds, it'll start catting for you and much more. Again, this works at just about any course in the world, and you'll get instant strategy and feedback on other areas that we can look together at and determine a proper course of action. It'll be like having me in your back pocket. I'm also going to include this bonus. There's usually just one 30-minute coaching call, but if you enroll now, you'll get three additional 30-minute lessons with me personally work on any part of your game or skill. I've had golfers do virtual range lessons, playing lessons, just simply chat, or they'll bring me into the bunker, putting green, or their simulator in their house or garage. Again, the options are endless. I'm dedicated to your success, and I know together we can help you achieve your goal of breaking 100 at golf. My normal hourly rate is $120 per hour if you want to work with me privately. I've been doing this program for the last three years for well over what I'm charging in this online program and not offering all the access that you'll have to me over the 12 weeks. I'll also include these incredible bonuses. For $14.95, you'll get the program and all the bonuses and the next step is to schedule a strategy session with Brad, not one of my coaches. And you can do that at golfachievement.com forward slash 30 minute strategy call or click on the link below the video to gain access. If you'd like to do this program on your own and at your own pace, I still recommend trying to complete it in 12 weeks or less. Your tuition is $297. If you'd like to join a small group and have me as your guide, the investment into your game is $14.97. One last incentive. I invite you to do this with a junior golfer. I want to grow the game and share it with as many juniors as possible. Simply send me a picture of you and your junior, and I'll create an account for both of you. You can have a ripple effect, not only that a portion of the program will be donated to the Minnesota Junior PGA Scholarship Fund, but also toward the 
development of future golf professionals and their education. So there's a lot of well-meaning instructors out there and unfortunately they teach what they do and do not understand how the body works and what they're capable of or how they're capable of generating power and consistency. You need to discover your most natural, powerful, and consistent golf swing. You need to learn how to, or the real scoring rules and how to apply the strategies each week. What is it worth to you to have a customized practice plan to go out to the range and practice facility to complete each week? What is it worth to have an on-course game to keep you focused? Let's get started today and call me or call Brad at 952-401-4653 where you can either ask any other questions you may have and enroll. So I want to encourage you and inspire you to achieve your golfing goals. I want you to play with your family, friends, and coworkers with the confidence that you need, the skills that you need, and have more fun on the golf course. I want you to be able to travel and enjoy the beauty that this game has to offer. I want you to become a Golf Achievement member. Thanks again for watching and hope to hear from you soon and help you achieve your golfing goals and dreams. Special thanks goes out to my wife, my family and friends, my mentors, my business insiders, and especially to my students and coaches that have given me the opportunity to coach and expand my capabilities and have driven my innovations throughout the years. All the photos used were either from Pixabay or the Pluth collection. For $14.95, you'll get the program and all the bonuses. And the next step is to schedule a strategy session with Brad, not one of my coaches. And you can do that at golfachievement.com forward slash 30 minute strategy call or click on the link below the video to gain access.